Greetings to the world from the Bury Strip Small Holding Homestead, Cornwall, UK. This is where the ponies were. As I'm walking up to, in a couple of minutes, is where the ponies were before that. And then thinking, I'm going to move the ponies to the bottom, but it's not quite ready yet because the grass hasn't grown. So, had a bit of a total change idea, plan all together. This is where the ponies are now today as I've moved them. This is later in the day because the whole morning and part of the afternoon we had pea soup. It was so foggy you could hardly see anything. So when I started this it wasn't uh, going too well. So this is the exact same principle as before. The only difference is I had to uh, push the uh, shelter up a bit rather than letting gravity uh, let it roll down. But this is more or less the same size as the two areas we've had them for grazing before, just waiting for their permanent grazing area right at the very bottom uh, to uh, grow some more grass, it's got some patchy areas and if they go down there it just so would simply mean that the grass would just be eaten up altogether and it'd be absolutely pointless going from there so there's uh, chocolate and meringue lot of traffic, everybody wants to go home like I said it's the end of the day so um, those that don't know the lighter one is meringue, a boy and the little one is a girl and she's called chocolate and this is just this isn't their main uh, main area this is just to uh, an area put in for extra grazing they've got two paddocks at the bottom of the Bury Strip small holding homestead Cornwall UK right down the very very bottom so this is the third area up here that we've uh, been able to put them into and right up from here we've got the uh, all the berry trees uh, fruit trees I should say I guess somebody will say the same difference and then we've got the caravans and everything else that's there. I thought I'd start from the bottom and work up. This is at the top uh, looking down and um, lots of you would have seen. This is of course an update of what we're doing with chocolate and meringue or meringue and chocolate actually I should say because when you say chocolate meringue it sounds like you're uh, announcing it's a dessert so meringue and chocolate well, you could say that's announcing the dessert as well but uh, any which way our two ponies um, he's already four and she's gonna come up to be four in August and uh, they've been having a whale of a time because when I opened the pasture they actually came all the way up and all the way up here eating the grass while I was actually putting everything together then I had to it was there had their dinner to get them uh, actually back into here I wasn't able to build it around them this time I think that's the simple principle that it was coming up and not just going down when they came out they kind of went to the grass down a bit from them and then as I was fixing things up, Moreno thought, well, where am I supposed to go now? And went up past, went up past here and kind of went up round. And the dog was kind of like, oh, the pony's supposed to be up here, sort of idea. Hello, editor here. <laughs> Quick little stop. Please make sure you subscribe because obviously these videos help produce a lot of other videos. And the more we can get more subscribers, the more we're able to put out extra content that requires a little bit more effort. 
So go ahead, do that. Make sure to like and comment down below what you think of our videos, what we can do next, because obviously every little helps. Now back into the video. And um, kind of, as far as I know, no, uh, no damage. So uh, kind of gone from there. They're quite happy to eat the grass. They're quite happy to come back in um, with their thing. Um, they've got their shelter, they've got their water. They came up here last year. I think we had them in two, two different sections then and had done that. Maybe not the same size, it might have been one bigger. Add them up here, then they're able to go down and then they've spent the autumn and the winter um, with both the two bottom paddocks, the whole of it. And then comes spring, we divided one off so the bottom one, so the grass could grow. Uh, which it did, and they've been down there and eaten the grass, and that's before they come up here. And the area where they're in, the longest will take the longest for the for the grass to grow. So, like I was saying in my last video, it might be a lot of to and fro, but I did actually say they might need to go down the bottom, then come back up here. Uh, but they're here at the moment. Dare I even say where they're going to be next? Are they going to be right down the very bottom or are they just going to do step by step to the next stage, the next stage, then go down the bottom? But the problem is uh, they're eating the grass. There is, we have had some rain today and we've had a lot of mist. Seriously pea soup. Um, kind of like uh, the video I showed you one evening when it was very um, misty. But the whole of this, you couldn't see very far at all. That's where the road is out there. And you couldn't see out there very hard. So while I was started um, working on moving the ponies, the visibility was not very good at all. And um, that's it. So these uh, are meringue and chocolate, our ponies. And this is the Berry Strip, Small Holding Homestead, Cornwall, UK. And I'm Jason. Thank you for having me.